Now we can see here we've got we're we're set up. We've got our bolt set and we've got our uh, shutoff valve on. Our flange is in the correct location. Uh, so we're ready to rock and roll. I've got my bolts that are seated inside my flange properly uh, inside the narrow or skinny portion of my flange so they will not pull out when I tighten the uh, bowl to the flange. What I've got is I've got a metal ring flange and I've got a wax ring here which we have to have for a toilet. The wax ring seals the bowl to the flange so on each flush, the flush portion that I, ha I have of waste is not going all over my floor or all over the ceiling below. Uh, in this case, it's got a uh, flange already inserted into the wax ring, which is the kind I want to buy. And I'm going to set it onto my flange so that when I put my bowl on, I'm going to squash the wax ring onto the flange. And that's what seals the bowl to the flange. So each flush, it does not leak. I'm ready to set my bowl, so I'm gonna. I don't have my tank on yet. I always, uh, in my preference, I'd rather set the bowl first than the tank last. So I'm gonna. This is kind of difficult sometimes, especially if the tank's on. I'm going to set my bowl in place. I'm gonna place my bolts through my bowl and make sure that I squash the wax ring down. So as I install my bowl, I'm gonna carefully seat it down. To where it's flush to the floor. You see the correct assembly here is the base for the cap first, washer second, nut third, and then I'm going to start to wrench. Uh, it'd probably be a good idea too to make sure you have a level sitting on the top of your bowl as you tighten that your uh, bowl stays level in both directions, side to side and front to back. And here I've already got the uh, bowl installed and I've got my tank. These two bolts are what go are going to attach the tank to the bowl. I need my squash gasket so let me grab that real quick and we will put that on and again making sure that it's fully uh, seated onto the exterior portion of the flush valve. Uh, I want to make sure it's square and seated properly before I do that. Place the uh, bolts to go through the uh, housings that are on my bowl. So now I'm just going to attach my tank to my bowl. So I'm putting on a washer first, then a nut, and I'm hand tightening them. And then I'm going to use the same method here. I'm going to go side to side. If I do three or four uh, wrenches on one side, I'm going to do three or four wrenches on the other side. What you need to do is when you hand tighten this, and that's what I'm doing now, is I'm going to push side to side. So right now I'm pushing on the left side of the tank and I'm going to push on the right side of the tank. I'm going to push it down a little bit and then hand tighten. I can use my socket as long as that uh, socket head is long enough to reach over the bolt and I'm just going to tighten it down slowly. And it's a good idea too to have a level sitting on top of the tank so that when this is installed, I know that my tank is level. Make sure that gasket is squashed in between the tank and the bowl. While I'm tightening this up, I'll mention a couple codes. The minimal clearing distance for side to side on a toilet. So you have a cavity that you're going to install a toilet on. Uh, let's say it's a, a spot in a basement and you've got a back wall and two side walls. The minimum distance between the two walls is 30 inches and the toilet needs to be sitting center of that uh, dimension. So therefore from center of flange to sidewall 15 inches on both sides. Uh, we've mentioned the flange already. The center of the flange from the uh, either from the rough portion from the stud of the wall face stud is 13 inches to the center of the flange. Therefore you have the proper distance from the back of the tank to your finished wall you got about an inch or inch and a half gap in between the two. Now lastly, we're going to attach the supply line to the fill valve of the tank. And again, to remind you, I have a rubber washer inside the top of my supply line, so therefore I do not need any Teflon. And I'm just going to look and make sure my gap between my bowl and my tank are even. 
I don't like this side, so I'm going to tighten it. I'm going to push down, and I'm going to tighten just little by little, and slow and controlled turns, making sure my tank is secure. It's not wobbling all over the place. So imagine if I didn't have the bolts in place already and I was trying to install my tank to my bowl, I'm going to have to sit here and turn and tighten and turn and tighten, and then all of a sudden I'm going to hear a snap, and i got to buy a new toilet again. So what now what we have is a fully installed toilet.